Now with Samsung rolling out One UI 8 updates across countries, I thought I'll share with you a little awesome treat straight from Korea, something they've been testing out for a little while now, an app that's focused around expanding the features of the basic Samsung Gallery app. So if you're looking to save space, create stickers straight from videos and images, add your own watermarks, this is the app for you. Say hello to the Gallery Assistant Beta app. Now the link for this ported APK is going to be down in the video description below so make sure to grab it. Now as a prerequisite I was only able to get this to work on my One UI 7 device so if you guys are running anything older maybe comment down below if it actually worked for you or not. On my Note 10 Plus running 4.1 it just straight up refused to. Now let's check out these features. First up the thing that I'll be using the most reduce size. So if you're like me and you record in 4K, 8K, you're always running out of space. But now this beta app is here to straight up address that issue. Oh yeah, and it works on video as well as images. So just simply select the files that you want to adjust, like here, I'm doing two videos and two images. And then at the bottom of your screen, you'll have bars. You can visually see how much you're going to compress these by. Like here, I'm taking both my images from a total of 5.17 megabytes to an excessive 0.5. And as for the video, 43 down to under 8. Yeah, very excessive. Don't use these things because the final files are going to look like absolute trash. But we do have the option to create these if we wanted. So yeah. Now my top tip for saving the most amount of space using this feature is just straight up cutting one megabyte from every single file you have. It's an example, but one megabyte from 500 files is half a gig guys. So yeah, you're welcome for that tip. Next up, we've got rotate and flip. Yep the basic edit function that you've had in your gallery app for years. But this time with this app, you can apply it to your entire gallery at once and not just images, but videos as well. Rotate, flip, or even just straighten up. Pretty self-explanatory. Image Clipper. It automatically creates stickers from your images. Is it useful? I guess kind of in a very, very clear image. But as you can see here, it doesn't act very smart to recognize what the object is and pretty much only cuts out whatever's in focus but it's automated and can work in bulk files as well now this next one is for those of you who love to take photographs and then upload it online to like pinterest or unsplash for example now we can add watermarks directly to your images before you upload so whether that be text in the corner or even a logo and using this button you can apply it to your entire image if you want as well. Definitely not for me, but some of you might find it handy. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely spam the shutter button whenever I'm trying to take a decent image, just praying that one of them's gonna turn out decent. And this is where compare images come in. So you just select the set that you wanna compare, and then that's it. You can pinch in on all of the images at once, checking out all of the details, fly through, see which ones are in focus, see what's not, and then decide which ones to keep. Very handy. However, you can only look at four images at once. I mean, four is a lot, but I spam a lot more than four. Regardless, pretty useful, I think. And now wrapping things up, we've got save as PDF. So that's for both videos and images. So why PDF? I mean, the only use case scenario that I can think of really is WhatsApp messaging. Because anytime you send a normal image in PNG or JPEG format, it's always going to get compressed by the time it reaches the other end. But with PDF, because it's a document, it won't get compressed and therefore stays in high quality during that transfer. I think, I don't know, this is the only case I can think of that would be useful. And finally, we have print. Yeah, it's printing in bulk. Anyway, this is the new Samsung Gallery Assistant Beta app. Link is down below.